Hey everybody, welcome back to our tutorial on getting started with the Martin M-Series software and the MPC um, software that you can have on your computer as well. I'm David Henry from LearnStageLighting.com and in this video, I want to hop out of the patch where we just were. We just patched everything, our 10 fixtures that we're going to be working with through these examples, uh, getting us started with the software. And we're going to jump out of patch simply by hitting this button that says close patch in the bottom right and we're going to talk about the 2d view or the 2d plan uh, view that martin has built into m series we're going to create it and i'm going to show you how awesome it can be and so the 2d view is just a wonderful thing that a lot of consoles are are beginning to integrate um including martin of course with their m series and honestly, it's a lifesaver. You know, I, I personally, as a lighting designer, you know, started with consoles. Um, I was first taught on a Hog 2 and Hog 3 and then learned the MA world and uh, Jans Vista and, you know, all kinds of other different consoles. But, you know, I started with those consoles where there was no 2D plan, right? Because anything, you know, newer than a few years ago, except for the Vista, didn't didn't have anything visual like this and you were punching numbers and creating groups and and that's great and all but i've learned that as i begin to play with this 2d view begin to use it in real life i really like it a lot and it, it really helps me really helps speed things up in programming and for somebody who's you know not a super tech head um because I, I am a pretty visual person and i'm not you know an overly technical person um 2d view is just killer for me this 2d plan view so to get started we're going to go to our fixture center tab going to go to the auto groups that were generated based off of our patch we're going to click our 10 fixtures that are in a group so that we've got them selected and in the programmer going to go over the 2d plan view we're going to press live that's going to put us um, toggle us over here into this edit mode and this is important because this is how we add in our fixtures uh, move stuff around scale things etc and I want to show you how the different tools work um, to be able to add fixtures and move them around and do all kinds of cool stuff it's, it's really easy once you get started and uh, I think you're really going to enjoy it so we're gonna click this add button you can see it says 10 fixtures selected right here because that's what we got in our programmer. By default, the add mode is single like this and the mirror is off. And so if I got the add mode in single like this, I hit place fixtures, I start clicking say right on the dots. You can see here, it adds my fixtures as singles and I make a jumbled mess. <laughs> and, and to clean that up, you know, there's a few things I can do. One, I can hit a line, say I wanted to align it this way, boom, they line up. I wanted to spread it evenly, they fix there. However, there's a much easier way to do this. And so I'm not going to play with that layout right now. I can hit select these guys, hit delete, confirm it, watch them go away. Because we've got better tools in the add mode, one of which is this lovely, lovely um, line add mode where I hit place fixtures and I draw a line to place my fixtures. So first one, look at that. You know, how simple is that, right? You just draw a line and uh, it puts your fixtures in a nice, neat, easy row. So um, we're going to hit delete there to look at our next, our next tool, which is the squiggly line. And so this is kind of like the uh, hard line that we did just did, but you can draw a squiggly line, which is kind of fun. I like how it how it evenly distributes the fixtures along your squiggly line, um, and, and I could definitely see some uses for that. Um, though personally, I like things in nice straight lines because it helps when I'm selecting things later. Next, we've got circle, which is pretty cool. So whoopsie, look at that. There's my ten fixtures in a circle. Awesome if you got circle trusses or, uh, you know, just want to make a really pretty 2D view that doesn't make any sense. Um, but definitely cool for circle trusses. Get rid of that. And then we've got the grid. So it allows you to create the amount of columns, 
lets you know when you've changed it. So let's do two columns since we've got 10 fixtures. Whoop, see, and there it made two columns, broke it down into rows. Let me show you here also what the column mode does. Say I do four, but I got 10 fixtures. So you see, it evenly distributes them and uh, the remainders just go down on the row. It, it makes your four columns, you know, does one, two, three, four, then five, six, seven, eight in the next row, and then the remainder, nine and 10. I'll hit delete there and come back and show you that if we go back to our align mode and I select the mirror, you can say horizontal, vertical, or custom, and I'm just gonna do horizontal for the sake of this initial and you can see here okay I, the fixtures are now mirrored horizontally I could do some cool stuff here say I've got some trusses that look like that you know maybe I've just got um, two trusses and I want to break it up like this and then say I want to move them a little further apart boom can move that I can take these and simply move them uh, by clicking and dragging. So very easy to do, very simple. Works just kind of how you'd expect something to work on a computer. So hit delete there, boom. Vertical, show you that here. You can see here, they're, they're over there. Um, and and it, it basically, you know, created a vertical line like you would with a vertical mirror in CAD software. And then these mirrored over there. Hit delete, show you custom, boom, place fixtures. So you draw your mirror line, you draw your line to place your items, whoop, and you can see you can make some cool stuff there if you've got an interesting layout to your rig. Um, I did that all with the, so that's with the mirror on. No matter how you draw, you know, it's always going to mirror your fixtures exactly, which, you know, might be useful, might be not. So I'm going to drop my fixtures back in in a nice straight line again, like that. And now I want to show you how you're able to um, add groups as well as objects. And so groups, as you can see, say I've got my auto group right here, going to select this. And I'm able to add groups to the 2D view so that I'm really um, easily, without you know leaving this window, if you just got one screen, I'm really easily able to touch my groups and work with them. So I'll put my add mode as single, hit place groups. You could do multiple groups at a time. Boom, I clicked, it showed up, it's got a name. I can rename it just like any of my fixtures. So I click here, I hit rename, I type, rename and you can see in a second it will rename so pretty simple oh that's actually naming the page sorry about that guys um that names the page because if you want to rename the fixture you need to do so from the patch and so that's very simple you know it's just you click it and now i've selected my group i can see if i turn highlight on it turns all my lights on but you, we, you can't see that right now in 2D view because I'm in edit mode. You're not seeing what's happening live. And that allows you to uh, move, work with this and not be fooled into leaving it into edit mode. So you can add groups like that. And, and it's that uh, shape of a one, two, three, four, five, six of a hexagon. <laughs> and um, we can also, you know, we can add those in the same way, mirror. We can also add objects and this is just a way you know if you're drawing some basic things say you want to show your stage whoop you could draw a square you could draw a rectangle you know and this is just something um, if, if it makes sense for your view um, you can also do some layers which I didn't show you but um, let's see here can add a layer. Let me delete some of these weird boxes. Hit confirm. Can add a layer <clears throat> and uh, show you how that works. And so, whoop. Add in our fixtures on this layer one. Whoop. If I go to this layer two, can I add in? 
object. And you can see now, as I move the layers around, the layer on top, physically, you know, highest to the top of the screen here, is on top in the, the view. And so not only is the layers functionality really helpful just for keeping your trusses separate, keeping, you know, um, sets and other things separate, the <clears throat> layers also allows you to move stuff around height-wise. Um, you're also able to create more pages. So this is page one. Um, right, sorry, that's that's the add layers button. However, here I can add another page. So say I've got you know this is my main trusses, and then say I've got a layer for floor package. I'll show you right here, and then that's my floor package on this show. And so again, that's the 2D view. Um, really helpful, really great way to be able to move things around and work with your rig visually. Um, you're able to zoom over here as well. And when we pop out of edit mode, pop into live mode, say I highlight these fixtures, you can see they're now turning. You can see if I pop over here and work with pan tilt, you can see as I tilt them, they tilt on the 2D view, they pan. Um, I really like how Martin worked in the tilt because it kind of, you know, even though it's 2D, it does illustrate where the tilt is roughly, and I think that's really cool. And so um, that's the 2D view. That's how you create it. And in our next lesson, I'm going to go over creating and selecting groups and everything you need to know there. I'll see you guys there. Thanks.